It's Patriots and Cowboys in America's Game of the Week. Welcome in to Patriots Today by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you to preview this exciting matchup on Sunday. We'll dive into what you need to know, keys to victory. We'll give you my prediction, take a look at the injury report, some key matchups and more coming up in just a matter of moments. Before we do, if you want to beat the Cowboys, I need you to like today's video. You see, every time the Patriots have lost this season, it's been when we haven't had enough likes in our videos. Let's keep the momentum from last week going. Don't jinx it. Hit the like button on today's video, and we'll get started with the show. Let's begin with the injury report for the Patriots. And you can see that uh, when it comes to the line of scrimmage, the Patriots are going to be a little bit shorthanded. Uh, potentially speaking, with five guys questionable at this point as of this recording on Tuesday. Uh, and specifically, Cole Strange was the uh, big injury that occurred uh, this past week. We'll see where his status is, some of these others, but at least right now, not looking great uh, to have some of these key players. Jonathan Jones also in the equation as well, the one non-lineman uh, on that list. Uh, on the injury report that's questionable as well. Meanwhile, the Cowboys are a little shorthanded as well, in particular on their offensive line. Uh, Tyron Smith with a knee injury, he's questionable. Zach Martin, uh, one of the best offensive guards in all of football, uh, he's got an ankle injury and he is questionable. So you have to think that will be a big factor. I feel like we talk about this almost every week, but the Patriots' offensive line Shorthanded is going to be tested again. And going up against a strong Dallas Cowboys defense, might be the best defense in the entire NFL. They are going to be tested. This will not be easy. The job that they have ahead of them going up against this very good Dallas Cowboys defense here to try to hold their own, get back time to throw the football, establish the run game and all that, they are going to be tested, and they're going to be tested right away. We're going to be live here on Patriots Day today, coming up this Sunday for Patriots and Cowboys. We'll begin our coverage around 4.25 p.m. Eastern time right here on the channel. You will not want to miss out on our second watch party of 2023. We'll break down the game in real time, have a few drinks on hand. You will not want to miss it. Make sure to join us coming up this Sunday, 4.25, live right here on Patriots Today. The odds for this matchup, the... Cowboys are about a touchdown favorite, the over-under set at 43, and this is a huge game for both these teams. The Patriots, coming off that win against the Jets, would like to continue that momentum, get back to 500. Meanwhile, the Dallas Cowboys looked really good those first two weeks, including that shutout win to open up the season against the New York Giants, but then you fall to the Arizona Cardinals on the road last week, a, a big test when you're the New England Patriots trying to, you know, keep things going from last week while the Cowboys are looking to get back on track. So, what's it going to take for the Patriots to get a win? Well, first, got to start fast. That, to me, is going to be very important to see how the Patriots look from the jump at this game. If the Patriots start off and are competitive from the beginning, then they'll have a shot to win this game. But if they're playing from behind, uh, there in the first quarter, then the game will basically be over before it starts. Through the first three games this season, the Patriots at this point have been outscored 19-3 to in the first quarter. Not ideal. It's been taking a while for this offense to wake up, but this isn't just an issue with the offense. It goes both ways. We need to see the Patriots' defense step up and set the tone and get those stops early, something that they managed to do a really good job of last week against the New York Jets. Uh, I would love to see this continue to be the trend. I know we talk fast starts with offense, but the defense is important here. Look at last week, the first five possessions against the New York Jets. And you can see the first five possessions resulted in five punts from the Jets' offense. Granted, Zach Wilson was at quarterback, but still – it was significant that the Patriots' defense came out of the gates firing, forcing five punts, only gave up one first down, and with all that negative yardage, they only allowed one positive yard total in the first five possessions. More of that 
on defense this week. Let's see if they can establish that tone early here against the Dallas Cowboys. What will the score be for Sunday's game? Predicted for us in the comments section. Who wins? What's the final? I'll give you my prediction coming up at the end of the show, but I want to hear from you guys first. Let us know what you think it is in the comments section. Number two on our keys to victory for New England is winning the turnover battle. This is going to be crucial because playing a team as good as the Dallas Cowboys, you have to play mistake-free, and you have to find a way to, to steal an extra possession or two, take that away from the Dallas Cowboys. Think about this. What the Dallas Cowboys do a really good job of, as I scouted this team and was looking at the inside and outs of this Dallas Cowboys bunch, through three games this season, they are leading the NFL when it comes to turnover margin, plus two. Not only are the Cowboys creating turnovers, but they're taking care of the football themselves as well, which is unlike Dak Prescott when uh, you look back at Dak, historically speaking, has been a turnover machine. But so far, he's doing a better job of that through the first few games. Meanwhile, with New England, they are currently tied for 20th in the NFL in turnover margin through the first three games at minus 07. So the short answer, the Patriots are giving the ball up more than they are taking it away. Truth of the matter, simply put is this, folks. The Patriots offense does not have the horsepower right now to give Dallas extra possession. We talked about it with the fast start. Same thing could be applied here. You do not want to play from behind. You do not want to give Dallas the ball at extra possession or two. You need to shorten this game as much as possible, create those turnovers, take care of the football. They do those things. The Patriots will be in good shape. More keys to victory, some players to watch in just a moment. But first, I want to tell you about one of our newest partners here at Chat Sports. That is Game Time. Game Time, the place to go for last minute tickets for the lowest prices, guaranteed. Here's what I want you to do go ahead and create an account and download Game Time. And we are offering $20 off. When you use the promo code NFL Chat. Now, this weekend, I am headed to the great city of Austin, Texas, where I get to watch my Kansas Jayhawks take on the Texas Longhorns. And hopefully, we see Kansas come out with a road upset win. And you know where I got my tickets? I got them on game time. And you can as well. Not only are you going to get the lowest prices guaranteed, but it's so easy to use. You find the game you want to go to. You see the prices. Pick out your seat. Zoom in and figure out what your view is going to look like. Apply that promo code NFL Chat, and then within a matter of moments, you are going to get your tickets. And maybe it's a last-minute situation where you decide on a whim. You know what? I want to go to the Patriots game. I want to go to the Red Sox game. You can get your tickets within a matter of moments. It's a very simple easy process. Download game time, $20 off with that promo code NFL chat. Terms and conditions do apply. Sign up today, start saving, get your tickets with game time. Now, number three on our keys to victory. This is a familiar term for the Dallas Cowboy fans out there. Feed Zeke. Yes, the New England Patriots need to feed Zeke. I felt like last week, for New England was a breakthrough game for Ezekiel Elliott and this Patriots run game. And while I say feed Zeke, that doesn't mean necessarily take away from Ramadre Stevenson. But one of the things that we've seen through the first few games with this Dallas Cowboys defense is that they have struggled when it comes to stopping the run. Last week, the Arizona Cardinals, the Arizona Cardinals of all teams, Rushed for 222 yards against Dallas on 30 carries in that 2018-16 win. If the Cardinals can rush for over 200 yards, why can't the Patriots potentially do that? So far, we've seen Zeke look all right. Last week had 80-plus rushing yards. He's averaging 4.4 yards a carry. I believe that what we're going to see out of Ezekiel Elliott this week, playing his former team, returning to Dallas and everything, I think he's going to come out with a chip on his shoulder. We know that Zeke is a very good receiving back. and So what I'm looking at, I'm not even saying that, hey, Zeke needs to be your primary ball carrier. 
But I'm saying that you need to get him out on the field, whether it's in the passing game, two back sets, whatever it is, get Zeke involved. And you look at that Dallas Cowboy team, they I bet you they wish they had Zeke right now. He's kind of a missing piece of what they're kind of looking for, that team. Use him to your advantage. He still has something left in the tank. I know he's going to be fired up. He's going to be motivated to go. I expect a big day from Ezekiel Elliott if he's given the opportunity. Who's a player that needs to step up for the Pats against Dallas? I mentioned that it was Zeke for me. Who is it for you? Chime in in the comment section. Let us know who that is. Number four on our keys to victory for New England. Pressure on Dak Prescott. Look, Dak Prescott, I think when you look at his NFL career, to this point, the story for him has been that he is a different quarterback when he is under pressure and that he struggles with dealing with said pressure. And for me, you can't talk about rushing the quarterback without mentioning Matthew Judon. And he is our player to watch for the Patriots here. He is off to a fantastic start to 2023, picking up right from where he left off last year, currently tied for fourth in the NFL in sacks with four. Uh, He's had at least one sack in every game so far this season. And even when he's not getting sacks, he's still being effective uh, in the pass rush. He's getting to the quarterback. He's got seven QB hits and five TFLs in the Patriots' first three games this season. Watch out for Matthew Judon to be a force to be reckoned with. And we told you about the injuries early on in the show Uh, especially on Dallas' side, with the question marks surrounding Martin and Smith and that Dallas O-line, I think if you're the Patriots' defense, you have to capitalize on this opportunity to get after the quarterback, get pressure on Dak, with knowing that you could be facing backups here. Watch out for Matthew Judon and company to have a big day. And think about this. So far in the first few games, uh, Amazon Next Gen Stats, uh, right now, Dak is averaging about 2.5. Five one seconds of time to throw the football this season. That's the sixth lowest in the NFL. So the offensive line has not been giving Dak much time to throw the football as is. This is something that if I'm Belichick, if I'm Gerard Mayo, the Patriots coaching staff, I'm telling my players and we're scheming up stuff, how can we get to Dak in an emphasis on that this week? Now, When you talk Dallas Cowboys, you can't mention the Dallas Cowboys with how much you hate the Dallas Cowboys. You either love them or hate them. And if you're a Patriots fan, obviously you hate the Dallas Cowboys, just like everyone else around the National Football League. Whether it's Jerry Jones or Dak, or if it's the 90s Cowboys back in the day with Irving and Troy Aikman, what do you hate most about the Dallas Cowboys? Let's hear it. Sip on that haterade. Get in that comment section. Let me know what you hate most about the Dallas Cowboys. For me, it's their fans. The most annoying, most ridiculous fans of the National Football League. That's what I hate most about the Dallas Cowboys. What do you hate most? I want to know. Let me know. Lastly, on our keys to victory for New England, it's going to be very, very important for the Patriots to push the football down the field. That is something that New England has struggled so far this year. Now, Dak, or, or with uh, with Mac Jones this season, in 2023, what we've seen with Mac is that he's off to a pretty decent start to this season. Mac has done a solid job. Five touchdowns, two picks, 748 yards, completion percentage near 65%. The Patriots are one and two, not because of Mac Jones. He's not the reason why they lost those previous two games. But what I want to see from Dak and kind of how this all works, one thing leading to another here. When we mentioned with Zeke and getting that run game going, what I need to see from New England is the getting that run game working and letting that open up the opportunities for Mac Jones to pat to push the football down the field through the play-action passing game. If the run game's there, that should allow for opportunities to really push the football down the field and for Mac to be effective. If you look at his passing depth, so far this season. What we've seen from Mac Jones is that when he does complete the football down the field, it results in points. Two touchdowns so far uh, through the air of passes of 20 yards or more, but only three completions to this point. He's been most effective when it comes to the medium passing game, 15 to 24, 246 yards, three touchdowns. 
with a grade of about 85.1. But if they can really get that going, if they can get that, uh, find a receiver that can get downfield like a Devontae Parker, if Juju, one of these guys can do that, then this changes this offense completely as far as I'm concerned. So to recap, our keys to victory for New England, start fast, win the turnover battle, feed Zeke, get pressure on Dak Prescott, and push the ball down the field. If New England does all these things, they have a shot to pull off the upset win in Arlington this weekend. With that said, though, I'm going with the Cowboys. As much as I would like to pick New England here, I think this is a a bad spot for the Patriots to be going up against a Cowboys team that is going to play with something to prove coming off a loss here. And the talent, I mean, the Cowboys are one of the most talented teams in the National Football League. I think New England's just simply overmatched. I'll take the Cowboys 24-13. What will the final score be of Sunday's game? Who wins? What's the outcome? Tell us in the comments section. Let us know what you think, how this game will play out if New England can pull this one off or not. 